Okay, when we do a question like this, um, it's important to determine the common denominator. So the first step is I'm going to expand whatever I can the denominator. So we got x plus x squared, oops, doesn't quite look okay, x squared minus 5 over, and I'm going to expand that out, and that's going to be two brackets. So it's going to be x plus 1 and x minus 1 which is equal to x squared plus x plus 2 over x plus 1. So we know that the common denominator must be these two factors. So what I'm going to do is for the x, I'm going to multiply it by both factors. So it's going to be x multiplied by x plus 1, x minus 1. And for the second variable, well, I don't have to multiply by anything because we already have the common denominator. So it's going to be x squared minus 5. And I'm going to move this over to the other side. So it's going to be minus, in bracket, x squared plus x plus 2. And multiply it by x minus 1 because we're only missing the x minus 1 factor. So it's going to be x minus 1 is equal to 0 and all over the common denominator of that middle term. So it's going to be x plus 1, oops, x plus 1, and x minus 1. And now the next step is let's expand everything else. So it's going to be um, x, and this will be x squared minus 1 plus x squared minus 5 minus and we're going to expand these out that's going to be well x times x squared gives you um, x cubed and x times x gives you x squared and x times 2 gives you 2x and now i'm going to multiply this negative one by this polynomial so negative one times x squared gives you negative x squared Negative 1 times x gives you negative x. Negative 1 times 2 gives you negative 2. Let's go to 0. And again, all over the common denominator of x plus 1, x minus 1. And next thing, I'm going to expand these ones as well. So that gives me x cubed minus x plus x squared minus 5. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the negative out within the bracket. So it'll be negative x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus x squared plus x plus 2 all over the common denominator of x plus 1, x minus 1. And let's not forget that the whole equation is equal to 0. So now let's put all the like terms together. So we have x cubed and minus x cubed, so those cancel out. I can get my pen working. Um, next one's going to be, we have x squared minus x squared plus x squared. So first step, well, we can cancel these two out. So we're le left with x squared. And now we have minus x, positive x. Let's cancel those out. However, we still have minus 2x, so it's going to be minus 2x. And with the whole numbers, we have minus 5 plus 2, which gives us negative 3, all over the common denominator of x plus 1, oops, x plus 1, x minus 1, which is equal to 0. And I think we can factor out the numerator. So x squared minus 2x minus 3, well, let's factor that out. So we have x and x, and the only possible factor of 3 is 3 times 1. And since the middle term is negative, negative here, I'm going to put the negative in front of the 3 plus. So when we look at this, negative 3x plus x is going to give you negative 2x. So that's going to be our factor form all over the common denominator of x plus 1, x minus 1, 
and as you can see the x plus 1 cancels out and remember this whole thing is equal to 0 so what we have on the next of this we have x minus 3 over x minus 1 which is equal to 0 so now the next step is let's multiply both sides by x minus 1 and x minus 1 oops x minus 1 and this cancels out and anything times 0 is going to be 0 so we're left with x minus 3 is equal to 0 now when we solve for x plus 3 on both sides that gives us x is equal to positive 3 and that's our final answer